Hey, what's going on, YouTube? My name is David Thompson. I want to tell you guys about this lucid dream that I had, and I am getting lost in the dream. This is the reason that I became lucid. All right, this dream was nice. It was nice and long. Um, you know, usually lucid dreams it always begins with other dreams first that lead into the dream you become lucid in. But the reason that I started to become lucid in this dream is I was outside and um, I go to the spiritualist church, right? So my dream I was like, all right, I gotta go to church. Uh, I, I gotta go to this place. And I looked at it and I was like, wow, it doesn't look the same at all. It's, it's pretty small. What's going on here? But still nothing clicked. Everybody pulled up and I was looking at the cars. I was like, wow, that place really looks small. <laughs> you got these huge cars trying to park in, park at a regular house. All these people trying to go to church. Doesn't make any sense. So I go into the church and it's huge inside. It's a totally different place. I don't know anybody. Uh, like there's a huge stage the person that's working on the stage is the same person that works on the stage the place I go um, they came up with this care for a disease and the, everybody was happy then uh, this lady uh, this woman tried to sit in my lap I was like hey what's going on <laughs> hey that's cool but <laughs> what's going on and that's strange to say because later on, the next day, when I did go to the church, because I'm a spiritual healer there, I was healing somebody, then this lady, just before we closed the healing chairs, this lady hopped in my chair that was also a healer. She was on the side of me and she hopped in my chair. So that was significant to my dream. But anyway, in my dream, I leave out the church and... I walk down the street and go through this apartment. I talked to this guy. I said, "Hey, hey, what's going on?" Because I have to kind of cut through his uh, his hallway, so to speak, to get to where I was trying to go. And I end up at this fence, and I was looking down the hill, and I was like, "Where am I? I don't see my house." But I felt like my house was down over this fence down the hill and I was trying to look at it and I didn't see it so what I ended up doing was turning around and I went back through this hall talked to the guy once again I went in the church and I was in the school instead then I go through the church door then I go out and I go down into the basement and I come out towards a school again then a janitor came out one of the doors and I was like hey how do you get out of here <laughs> he said just walk this way I was like wow this is, this is crazy so I started walking I seen this girl I started talking to her I seen another girl I was flirting with her even though she was with her boyfriend hey you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> but, uh, then I kept it moving. Then I come out of the school, and I'm back in the same neighborhood, and I take the same long walk. I walk past this guy again, and, and it was another guy there. Um, the guy had some kind of problem. Uh, I think he was an alcoholic something. Who knows? Then I come back to this fence, and I, I grab the fence like this, and I try to look over. I'm looking down the hill, and I'm trying to see an apartment complex, even though I don't live in an apartment complex, but I was looking for that, and I was like, I don't see it. Like, I don't live here. Like, my house is not down there. Then I realized, like, where the hell am I? 
<laughs> I was like, I'm lost. Then I just had that feeling of being lost. Like, I was like, wow. And I, I realized it just dawned on me. Like, who gets lost outside walking? <laughs> I'm like, I'm dreaming. And I was like, oh. I, I really didn't want to say it out loud because, you know, sometimes when you become conscious, you wake up out of the dream and it messes that up. But I said it out loud anyway and I was like, wow, still here. Nice. But man, everything was so real. I still wasn't convinced that it was a dream. That's how real it was. But I was like, all right. I was in this parking lot near some cars. Uh, Nobody was watching. <laughs> so I was like, what I'm gonna try to do is, of course, I'm gonna try to fly. So I get ready, then I jump. Then what happens, I go right back down and I hit the floor. And I'm like, oh man. I'm like, man, this is not a dream. <laughs> I was like, this is not a dream. I can feel gravity, what's going on here? And I was like, nah, nah, nah. Everything looks looks different. It, it feels different. It just it looks like I said before in one of my videos, more real than real. I was like, I'm gonna try this again. So I was like, all right, I wanna fly. Then I was just thinking about it. I was just pushing my my body up, and I started floating. I was going up and up and up. Then there was like some stripper poles in the air. It was crazy. So I grab onto one of them. And I'm looking down and there's another stripper pole and another stripper pole. Like Assassin's Creed, like I was supposed to hop from one to the other. But I was like, alright, since I'm flying, now now I know that this is a dream. Nothing can break that. So I was like, alright, I want to go back to my house. Because I want to go back to my body so I can try to become... Uh, to actually project, leave my body. But instead of going back to the house that I live at now, I went to the house that I lived at when I was young. It was nice, man. It was, it was, it felt so nice. Like I was floating through the rooms and I was looking at everything. Like the rooms was a little different, but it, it was the house that I used to live in. Then when I was in this kind of reality, I was just like, whoa, what if? Uh, something comes and uh, tries to attack me or something <laughs> you know the thoughts always back there because you always hear the stories but everything was cool so i float downstairs and the whole time as soon as i become lucid i'm hearing this lady's voice and it sounds like a radio like she's trying to sing and she's trying to talk to me at the same time then i go downstairs and there's a tv that's on its side then I look at the TV and I'm so amazed. I'm like, wow, I can actually see these things and everything be solid and I'm dreaming. It's, it's so it's so nice, man. Seriously, you guys got to do it. I, I look at the TV screen and I look close. I was like, wow, I can actually see what's on the TV screen. <laughs> it was crazy. It was, what was it? It was a, uh, it was a, a person's face. And it was like a, a teddy bear on the nose. It was weird. And I was just looking at it. And I was like, wow, I wonder if I could change the channel. So I changed it. And it actually changed. It kept on changing. Changed. I was like, I don't know. I was so excited about that. It was just the little things. I wasn't even concerned about the flying and, and going to the house on, on within my thoughts. And I was trying to hear this lady. The lady was trying to talk to me in my dream state. And uh I really couldn't pay attention enough to, to hear exactly what she was saying, but uh, I think it's just one of my guardians that's with me and she's trying to contact me. But that's what I want to talk to you guys about, it's my lucid dream. I became lucid because I figured out that I was lost and I don't get lost. I just want to share that guy with you guys and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. My name is David Thompson. I love you guys, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so.